the defense attaches uh, here present, members of the military wise association of Kenya, KDF officers, serving members, service members, both serving and retired, KDF families, distinguished invited guests, Your Excellency, it is our distinguished honor to host you and distinguished invited guests today at the Laikipi Air Base as we observe the 11th anniversary of the Kenya Defense Forces Day. We are indeed grateful and conscious of the fact that Your Excellency has graced this occasion in the midst of your very, very schedule, very busy schedule as you continue to structure your new administration. In this regard, admit me, Your Excellency, on behalf of the entire Kenya Defense Forces family to congratulate Your Excellency on becoming the first President of the Republic of Kenya and the Commander-in-Chief of the Kenya Defense Forces. We commit to serve under your command with dedication and fidelity in the fulfillment of the KDF constitutional mandates of defense and protection of Kenya's territorial integrity and sovereignty. Whereas this day marks a solemn occasion on which we celebrate the gallant Kenyan officers and service members who have paid the ultimate price while serving our great nation, we also pay tribute to those who served alongside them and suffered, suffered the scars of war, and not forgetting dear families who survived them. Indeed, the essence, valor, and strength of every KDF soldier is anchored in the support of families who are the backbone our very existence. Your Excellency, the families of our gallant officers and soldiers, whom we salute today, have made great contributions, and we recognize this contribution as one of generating KDS fighting power. To serving and veteran soldiers and officers, we, in service, reaffirm our commitment uh, to your well-being uh, through the established welfare framework under the Defense Com Compensation and Welfare Services and the ongoing establishment of the Veteran Affairs Directorate following the enactment of the Military Veteran Act of 2022. In defending the country against external aggression, KDF troops have robustly continued to undertake counter-terrorism operations within and beyond our borders, which has significantly degraded the Ash-Shabaab menace. In all KDF deployments, we continue also to carry out humanitarian civic action in support of local communities as part of, of, of humanitarian civic action in the past year in countries of Baringo, Laikipia, Samburu, and Masabit, we have done a lot of dams, including water pans and boreholes. KDF has, within the multi-agency framework, delivered on its mandate of assisting and cooperating with MDAs towards the provision of services to the Kenyan people. In addition, in response to climate change, KDF, through the Environmental Soldier Program, established in 2008, continues to partner with other stakeholders in afforestation efforts and tree planting across the country. As we mark this day, we assure the Kenyan people of KDF's commitment to the defense and protection of our motherland, as this is our sacred duty and calling. It is now my duty and honor to humbly request Your Excellency to address the officers, service members, 
military families, and invited guests. Your Excellency Shah. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is my distinguished honor to join you today to observe